Hello everybody, my name is Kai one Today I'm gonna to do a full review about the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II and also share with you guys all the pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like about this phone. The Sony Xperia 10 Mark II is a super lightweight smartphone. It just weighs 151 grams, super lightweight. Do you remember Sony Xperia Z series compact smartphone? Those smartphones just turn into Xperia 1 series and 5 series. The 10 series is kind of special. It's an entry level compact size smartphone. This phone is not good for people just one media consumption because first the speaker is awful no high pitch no low pitch and the audio would distort at high volume although it's a front firing speaker but it just sounds bad. This screen looks awesome, but it is too narrow for 16 by 9 videos. If you crop in, you will crop too much top and bottom. The vibrator is awful. When you are typing, feel like this phone is gonna fall apart. The performance is not good enough to play those heavy 3D games like Code of Duty. I need to change the settings to medium to have a better gaming experience. The battery life is just okay, around five hours of screen on time. The only hardware I'll perform on a smartphone will be the high quality audio jack, low noise, fine tuned volume, and superb resolution. Feel like I'm buying a Walkman with a SIM card. The special side sense function is just like a quick access to your app drawer, save me lots of time to open new application, and you can quickly open most used app anytime. The fingerprint sensor is unusable when your finger is wet and dirty. You always need to clean your hands and keep it dry, not too good. The screen looks good at high brightness, but at low brightness, the OLED screen looks gray compared to IPS display. The display is already gray while screen is off. This is the OLED screen technology right now. My Samsung tab screen looks gray while the screen is off. Too. Sony totally redesigned the multitasking function. It just works so well on this smartphone. The screen is so tall so we can see so much more information. It's easy to change different apps. It's easy to change the window size. It's easy to customize three different app combination. The only problem is still the processing speed. We need to wait for it to open two apps simultaneously. But I still think the multitasking is still the best function on this smartphone. The camera setup on this smartphone is a real three camera setup. We have main camera, telephoto, and wide angle. We don't have any macro or depth sensor. If you're going to shoot picture with the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II, you cannot shoot raw even with the third-party apps. The main camera dynamic range is just okay. Wide and telephoto dynamic range are not good. The main and telephoto cameras have lots of details. The wide-angle camera don't have any details. And about the lens quality, the main and telephoto lens looks pretty good. But a wide-angle lens looks crazy. Lots of chromatic aberration. And a wide-angle lens is a fixed focus lens, so no any autofocus. Next, the video test. The main camera can shoot 4K. Good dynamic range, good Good details, but the processing speed is not fast enough. The footage will look glitchy and drop lots of frames. The wide angle lens and the telephoto lens cannot shoot video in a native camera app, so I downloaded a third party app called Open Camera. But both of them have poor dynamic range and lots of noise at ISO 50. The video quality on the wide angle and telephoto are just trash. This is a camera setup on the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II. It just feels like a cheap zoom kit lens on a camera world. You can get the photo you want, but not the highest quality. This phone is a lightweight smartphone and you can do some light work and light multitasking. Let me remember a phone called Palm Phone. The concept is pretty much the same. We both have lightweight smartphone. We both have IP rating, water resistant. We just put it in your pocket and go out, enjoy your life. Forget about the power bank. Forget about your smartphone in your pocket or your bag. Just go out and enjoy your life. Okay, so this is a full review about the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II. So if you like this video, press a like, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.